Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we are checking out the Dragonforge Trials, which seems like a... I don't know whether it's going to be like a permanent thing or whether it's going to have seasonal thing or whether it's just only an event style thing because it's in a permanent mode in the game. I feel like it's going to be permanent, but the wording's a bit funny. We'll go through all that stuff. Uh, to get to here, we just go into the Dragon's Refuge up the top here in the Randhorn, and we've got three buildings. Wormscale Sanctuary, I'll do that in another video once I unlock it. The Dragon Pagoda is where we're going to go ahead and summon our dragon characters. And I'm going to save a bit and we'll do a summon video later on. But that is the Dragon Pagoda. We do the scrolls and then we've got our awakened summons, for lack of a better word, is what we call these. So I'm not sure. Wait, I just claimed 55 in my mail. Where did they go? Wait. Or were they normals? Were they normals? Wait. That, oh, that was scrolls. That was scrolls. Okay. I'm getting a bit of copium. Getting a bit of copium, okay? I'm, try I'm trying to get more. I want to get my girl Gwyneth. You guys know how it is, dude. Dude. All right. We, we will be doing that. We will be doing that at another stage. Honestly, I think with the amount of free copies of him you get, it could be a play to go for him, but uh, I'll do that in the summon video. We'll sort that out later, guys. You know how it is. All right. <clears throat> Gwyneth's just too tempting. I can't not go for on this account. I'm sorry. It just it is what it is. All right. All right, let's check out the Dragonforge Trials. So uh, what we'll do is I'll go through the info and read it to you first. You guys get an understanding. We'll look at the shops, we'll look at the rewards uh, and the rulings and stuff like that. But I think this is a pretty solid event. Uh, it really encourages you to get the dragons. Though. That's like the whole purpose of it. The first time you defeat the enemies on each floor, you will obtain fantastic rewards and unlock the next floor. The faster you can defeat enemies in each battle of a trial, the more points you will earn. The higher your points, the higher your battlefield star rating. The first time you reach three stars on each floor, you'll receive generous rewards. Now, I did that on the first floor. I got two stars, changed my team, got three stars, and it did give you some nice juicy rewards on top of the first clear rewards, which is fantastic. Um, so I'm going to see if we can dem demonstrate that on the second battle as well. So let's jump back into the info and we'll take a look at what else we got. Uh, the, results from, the results from Dragonforge Trials will be calculated and their progress reset each uh, once a week. You will receive rewards based on the highest floor you reached that week. In the following week, any stage for which you have received three stars will be deemed completed. So I believe the first clear rewards reset as well. I don't know. It will say they'll be deemed as completed because you got three stars on them. But I think that just means you insta get the rewards. I'm not too sure. That is something I'm going to have to wait and see because the, the wording could be interpreted each way. After results are tallied each week, you will receive a Dragonbone stamps. These can be exchanged for rewards at the Dragonforge every four weeks. The purchase limit of Dragonforge will be reset and the Dragonbone stamps will be removed. So please exchange them in time. So that is the thing that catches me out. Let, let's just take a look at it. You can see it's here for 22 days. And then it says they'll be reset in 22 days. So I believe it's going to be one of those permanent things. And when it says they will be removed, I think it's like at the end of the thing, you just got to start again. I'm not too sure. So like I said, there's a couple of things I'm a bit gray on. Uh, Non-Draconis heroes will be suppressed by Dragon's Fury during Dragonforge trials. They can ease this suppression by increasing their Dragon Honor levels. Draconic heroes are empowered by the might of the ancient dragon and are fixed to level 600. You'll see why that's big. If you're having trouble beating enemies, try leveling up your dragon horn or head to the leaderboard and watch footage of other players. Yeah, copy pasta. Gotta love it. All right. Collections, artifacts, and pets will not take effect in Dragonforge Trials battles. Players may only use mercenaries, Dracon Draconis heroes, dimensional heroes, and heroes which are within the resonating crystal. To me, that's every hero. I can't think of a hero that, that excludes. Am I being stupid right now? I don't know, but that's a lot of heroes. So essentially what it is, you go through the floors, you get a first-time reward, you get a three-star reward, and then you get a weekly reward. The, re week the, 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 the weekly rewards are these. You get signature item equipment, uh, signature item upgrades for the Draconis heroes, and you get the currency to go ahead and use in the shop. Uh, I didn't add this up. About 1,500 or so. It, it seems like a decent amount. But once again, this resets monthly. That's resets weekly. You're going to get a fair chunk. And we can get uh, copies of you, which is the assassin one that I really like. Uh, we can get the scrolls. We can get the, the gate. What are these called? What are these called? What, 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 why does it try? 
It doesn't tell me what they're called. Anyway, we can get the Stargazer things to go for Gwyneth. We can get the Gwyneth things. And then as we beat more stages, we unlock uh, capacity to get more rewards, so on, so forth. Uh, pretty standard stuff. It's kind of like a meshing of different things. This is like the, uh, this is like Candy Crush, the map. And the, uh, the core system of it with the shop and stuff feels like Temporal Rift. Yes, I went to Temporal Rift because I forgot the name of it for a second. But that's it's kind of like a meshing of things. So let's jump in. Let's check out stage two. So the way this functions... Okay, first three-star reward is these. So as you can see, I've already got my other rewards. Uh, if we go over here, you can see first completion reward is this. And once you've obtained that first completion reward, then it will show you what the first three-star reward is. But let's jump into this stage just to show you. It's really weird. It caught me off guard when I went in. Because I didn't know what was really going on. But over here, you can see when a draconic hero is deployed, the attack rating and max health of allied heroes is greatly increased. Cool. And the other thing you'll notice is my heroes are at 480. If you remember from the info, all Draconis heroes are fixed. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, wait, wait. No, that's the info for this. Uh, where, where does it say? They're fixed at 600. Dude, did, did, did I read that somewhere else? Dude, yeah, there, there it is. They're fixed at 600. So they get a massive level boost and just a general boost overall. So that, you know, that's going to take effect. We'll read the info in here. You can deploy one allied team on each position. If there are multiple enemy teams in a single position, the allied team will engage in a last survivor battle. Each team will deploy their leader to stand trial on the battlefield, while in a real battle, it is the team versus team. It's really confusing when I first saw it. The faster you can defeat enemies in each battle trial, the more points you will earn. The higher your points, the higher your battlefield star rating. The first time you reach three stars, you'll receive extra rewards. Before the battle begins, you can view the enemy's details to figure out the situation. So, you can see their enemy details here. You can see, you can see the two teams that we're going to have to battle against, and then we can go prepare for battle. Now, it shows us the first formation that we're going to battle against. And once again, you've got the second formation here that you're going to battle against. Now, the thing that confused me is when we get into the combat. So I'm just trying to make a team here that's going to um, do some damage. That was my team that failed. Uh, then I just went with something like this. I think I went with that. I went with uh, where's Rowan to get the energy on Rem. So I think I put Rem there and I put Rowan here. Uh, and then I think I can't even remember who my last one was. I think I made it put floppy for the grouping aspect for Mulan. But yeah, I'm, you're just trying to kill the stuff as quick as possible. Um, it's not like, it's not a massive deficit. So you just go on YOLO teams to try and nuke it. And you know, my go-to nuke is Rem. And it comes up and gives you this. So it gave me 68 points. And now this, this battle's taking me much longer. So I got to use a better team. So you can see they're doing damage to me. And this is like a representation of the way the battle goes. And so as you can see there, I only got 106 points. So my previous best was two stars. That went even worse, even though that's the team that got me three stars on the previous one. But you guys get the idea. You're going to have to make teams to speed clear the enemies. They're obviously going to have tricks in between. And I don't have any Draconis heroes yet because I haven't summoned. So that is going to be like limiting the capacity for me to dominate this event because those Draconis heroes are going to be like the core thing. This is like their, their selling feature for them, but I think it's not too bad. We do get a ton of resources. Uh, I'll update you guys more later on. Wait, Dragonhorn, how do I upgrade? I didn't even know where to get these things. That's the one thing I'm not sure because you can't buy them anywhere. More? Hmm. That is the one thing I'm unsure on. I'll have to try and figure that out because I don't see where you upgrade where you get these to upgrade the dragon horn. Let's have a quick look. You receive amber scales when you acquire ah, uh, you've got to summon them to get it and then you can upgrade it. So this is very this is very locked behind. Getting max rewards is locked behind summoning a bunch, which is good because we'll come back and we'll do a summon video and we'll summon a bunch. We'll see how we go. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for the Dragon Forge trials. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.